What's up you guys? How's it going? Welcome to another episode. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you to the famous Venice Beach Boardwalk and we're going to be shooting with a 16 lens camera. You heard that right. We're going to be shooting with the light L16. So stick around. It's going to be a beautiful episode. Alright, here we are on our way to Venice Beach. Um, today's weather is really nice out. It's around 72 degrees right now. The morning kind of started with a very dense fog, uh, but now that kind of dispersed so we see blue skies all around. Um, and I kind of wanted to take this opportunity to introduce you to Light L16. It's currently out of market. They actually decided to pull back from the photography market. Uh, but back in 2015, this company named Light came up with this revolutionary idea so to speak where they could actually build a product around the concept of computational photography where 16 different lenses could be combined into one wholesome image of 52 megapixels and these lenses the focal lengths vary from anywhere from 35 millimeter to 150 millimeter lenses uh, all in one body keep that in mind right around I want to say late 2016 maybe early 2017 this company reached out to me asking me if I could promote uh, their camera for them on Instagram and what I would essentially do is go about finding a theme and shooting a series of photos for them where then it would be featured on my Instagram as well as their website at the time I decided to go with surfers as my theme uh, but the interesting part of it was, you know, this was a sponsored gig and again, this was 2017. We're in 2023. So it's been six years. So how is this camera holding up so far? Let's go ahead and shoot and you'll see it for yourselves. Also folks, it would really mean a lot to me if you went ahead, liked, subscribed and comment on this channel and video. The more support I get, the more feedback I get from you, the more I'll be able to create diverse pieces of content and share them with you on YouTube. As you're choosing different lenses, keep in mind, you're not shooting with 16 lenses anymore because all the other lenses outside of 150 millimeter range are below that focal length. So the moment you go all the way up to 150 millimeter range, however many there are on this body, that's all you're shooting with. So the wider you get, the greater the opportunity you get to benefit from the computational photography aspect. I'm still walking on the boardwalk. I'm headed towards the world famous Venice Beach skate park so that I could actually try to shoot some freeze frame photos of different skaters at that skate park and see if we can actually grab some cool shots there. Um, I haven't really done freeze frames with this camera before. If anything, it was primarily for cityscape or landscape. So this is gonna be a cool outing. Testing something new after all these years with this camera as well. Um, let's go ahead. definitely challenging to be able to capture all the skaters in motion while trying to get this to focus at the same time as you're trying to get 16 lenses to focus all at once it's not that quick so it definitely lacks the autofocus feature to be as quick as possible or at least as quick as the skateboarders and then to be able to also shoot and I'm shooting at a four thousandth of a second it's not as easy either um, but at least we were able to capture some to take a look at analyze and be able to edit later 
Um, there are definitely talented skaters over there that I don't think my photos would do justice through this camera. Um, but I guess that's why I've been using it strictly on landscape and street photography because all of my subjects are still. The Venice Beach Boardwalk is truly the mecca of content creators. I've seen YouTubers, TikTokers, skaters, rollerbladers, surfers, dancers, singers, you name it. So if you ever make your way here and you want to create some banging content, Venice Beach Boardwalk will do you good. So definitely come by, hopefully on a good day, unlike me. But I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in to see what the Light L16 can still do. If you have any questions about this camera or have any comments, please go ahead and comment down below. I'll see you in the next one.